Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install Above Trial. This version is 1909. So this is published on July 31st, uh, 2023. So um, you can go through these uh, documents, uh, but I will show you how to um, install on your Windows machine step by step. So here actually, um, this is the website from where you can download the image. Uh, but before starting, you have to make sure that uh, your Windows is the requirement is okay. So like uh, for my laptops is everything is fine and I'm good to go. So let's start it. So first of all, what I have to do, I have to enable some feature. So that purpose, I need to go to the control panel. And after that, I have to install that programs. So from here, actually, I have to uh, turn on some feature here. So click on that. So from here, actually, uh, you have to enable total four feature. So that is one is the Hyper V. Uh, it's already enabled, uh, but uh, make sure in your case it is enabled. And second is the virtual machine platforms. So this also you need to enable. And third is the Windows Hyper Vision platform. And the last Windows uh, subsystem for Linux. So after that, you have to uh, press OK and uh, your laptop will be restart. So as is already installed on my laptop, so I'm not going to press OK and restart because it's already installed. Uh, now you have to set um, the WSL version so let's start that part so now you can see that um, i opened the uh, windows powershell and you have to run on administrator otherwise you may get some error so basically i am following that um, uh, process but uh, in your case actually that uh, you will find that most of the thing is already um, enabled, but you don't need. So you need to just following only that part. Just copy, paste here, enter. So now actually it will set the it will it will set uh, the version one. And after that, what you need to do, step two, uh, for this purpose, you need to just uh, check some Windows versions is what I, I sh mentioned you in that. So it's fine. And so actually this enable uh, virtual machine features, we already did by the control panel, it's no needs, but um if you want you can do again but it's already done so now you need to download uh, the kernel update package from here so i am downloading from here so it's done Let's start uh, by double clicking on that. So uh, actually it's already installed. So uh, for your case, you need to just uh, click on next and finish. That's it, it's not the big deal. So I'm just press finish. So this step is done. So now this step is very important. Otherwise you will get error. You need to now set your uh, 
default version 2 so I'm copy and so operation complete successfully so now this part uh, is done so second step is to uh, we have to install the download or the docker and we have to start so let's start on that so now from the docker official websites you need to just click on that um, docker desktop for windows so um, it's being downloaded it will take time so let's wait and so now installation has been completed I'm double click on that so now you can see that what uh, we installed uh, WSL2 so it's already uh, we have completed so that's that's good otherwise if you don't install and if you don't configure that WSL that in that case you will get error so I'm just click OK so now it's unpacking file and it will install so let's show it okay so this is um, installed uh, successfully so I just close this so now what I have to do in that uh, PowerShell first I have to execute this command so just copy from here and copy and well so um what i have to do basically I have to register the docker and after that actually I have to execute this so sorry for that so now I just uh, click on the docker exe and now I have to accept so um, here actually uh, you have to first time you have to sign up or if you have that account so you can just uh, sign in so I already have that account so I'm signing in so after completing sign in I have to proceed to docker desktop So now after installing the docker and after signing our uh, docker I execute this command and you can uh, you can find this command from that website and it's starting uh, downloadings and my docker is also running so it's container um, image everything is there and you can see the engine is running so now actually it is um, downloading that um, image the above trial image and and actually it will take some time you can see that it's some 
it's like 20.91 GB so we have to wait and yeah I'll back um, after sometimes let's let it be done so now you can see that um, this downloading part has been completed and it is also installed um, to the docker so if I now go to the docker so you can see uh, that this uh, platform trial is uh, here so now that means that everything is now good so now um, we have to um, we have to execute the second command so just copy this so this one so basically what you need to do um, if I paste in that um, notepad then For example, so this is the command uh, what I got from this site. Uh, but um, what you need to do, uh, you also need to add this uh, parameter as well so that uh, it will also agree to the license. So now just execute this part and press enter. So now you can see that uh, everything is fine. So this, uh, as I already added this parameter about the license. So now basically that it will not ask anything and you can see that HANA database is uh, starting so that means that all good so let's start uh, so now you can see that uh, the um, SAP server has been started and also everything is good uh, like here then if I go back, then I can see that like uh, HDB starting a start, uh, then what we have to do here, uh, the system ID, F4H, and that is the installation's ID. The system's ID is required when we will install the SAP GUI so yeah now everything is good now we can connect our SAP to the GUI uh, but uh, before that uh, what we have to do uh, we have to we have to check the this container so you can from here actually before that it was added in that image now actually that is uh, your container and it is status is running and basically that is the your system id and you can see that it's cpu consumptions everything is fine and um yeah it's it's look good uh yeah uh, everything is good so now what we can do uh we are ready to we are ready to connect our GUI but uh before that what we'll do we will add our because actually that is running on that uh local host so what we can do, uh, we can just go to the etc folder and add our IP um, to do that uh, host directory so that you can just run by the 
uh, name address. Uh, but now we are just connecting with the host uh, with the host IP with the local host IP. So now if I go there, you can see you can see that everything is running. So just go there next and if I like above above trial then it should be local address or should be on to seven dot zero dot zero dot one instance is zero zero and system id it's it's mentioned here it is um it is um what is system id let me check so system id is um sorry for that uh f4h A for H next next finish now it is your about trial so if I double click here say so your SCP is um, running and if you the name is developer it's developer and password is you can find the password in the portal what i will mention so here and i will mention the password default password in the description so now so that is your uh, above uh, environments and that is your if I go to the system then you can check the that is the HANA 2.0 and if I go to the product version you can see or uh, that um, EBA platforms as for HANA foundations, Fury Frontend Server. So everything is installed here. So you can install the HANA and everything. And for the basis perspective, you can do your basis exercise. So yeah, uh, all good. And the next uh, tutorial, I will describe how to connect uh, your local above system to uh, BTP platform using the SAP cloud connector. Thank you everyone.